the last time on Pete and his bus. This time on Pete and his bus, I waft about in pure style and class. And I take another step towards finishing this never-ending saga of bodywork. Welcome to another episode of Pete and his bus. Something very strange happened last month, and that is my phone went, I answered, and I got some work. As most of you know, my first bus is a bar for the hospitality industry, and as you can imagine, that's been standing still for some time. But I got a great phone call from a local Pete and his bus fan asking for bar service at his staff party within the regulations and allowances, of course, and this is how it went down. My first job is to pull out a very sorry looking 2355 from hibernation. Now the reason why I'm going so slow is because the doorway on this barn is a lot narrower and a lot lower. So I'm taking no chances because one wrong move and I have a big gouge in the side of my bus. For me, it is standard procedure to always clean the bus inside and out before every event. And usually this takes about an hour and a half to two hours. But this time it took more than an entire day because the amount of dust that's being generated by the builders and the amount of time it simply sat there doing nothing. But she is now looking beautifully clean and ready for this event. Another thing that has also happened, we've had to say goodbye to a good friend. The Green Goddess was collected this week to go to its new home in the West Country. Luckily, my friend Clive was around to help us out with the transport. Mm -hmm. 
Maneuvering a 1950s truck in a tightly packed barn is not something I would recommend. There is no power steering, the clutch is really heavy and it's either on or off, and the visibility is extremely poor. Also, there's the added pressure of the fact that this vehicle is no longer mine, so I've got to be really careful. Even though the turning circle on this fire engine is similar to the Titanic, I do eventually manage to escape the barn. And the new owner and I had agreed that we would have the fire engine trailered to its new location rather than driven. And this was simply based on the fact that there probably isn't enough petrol in the universe for it to drive there under its own power. It is at this point we say goodbye to the lovely green goddess and we wish her all the best in her future endeavors. So before I spray the bus with beautiful London red, just like the lid for the battery box, I've got to flatten it off with a bit of 400 grit uh, and I'm gonna use water as well. So keep it wet so there's no dust and it gives you that nice polished finish. And the way you know you're done is very simple. This panel I've done, and you can just feel it's super smooth compared to this panel, which I haven't, and it's just that little bit rougher. So I have got to do the whole bus, but it's not going to take as long as the sanding has done in the past. Good times. This sanding is probably the easiest and fastest out of all the sanding I've done thus far. And trust me when I say I've done a fair bit of sanding. But there is one key element at this stage that you've got to be really careful of. And that is if you hold that sander in the same place for too long, you will go straight through the pink uh, mid-red and then you can start all over again with that panel. And we do not want that to happen. So extra care has to be taken at this stage. So I've been rubbing the bus down with 400 and I've been doing it wet and the result is this. Brrr, soft like kitten.
there was ever a question whether mid red and pink were a similar thing, which they are not, now would be the time to ask it. Calm down. How about I put Spanner in your bottom? See how you like! red paint on it. So how do I feel I've done? Well, painting is really hard, okay? But I actually think I did all right. Now there's one problem I did have, which I can easily avoid, is that before I painted the red, I rubbed the bus down with P400 and I used water. So you've got to clean up all these sort of pink residue that's left over. It's very difficult to get the water out of the cracks. And as I went past with the paint gun, there was a tiny bit of water still in between the strips and the bus, and it sort of flew out and caused lots of little bubbles. So the only way to solve that is to clean this side of the bus down completely, let it dry overnight, and then come back the next day and then paint the whole lot from start to finish. So guess what? This is what we're gonna do. So just like that, my day has changed from painting a bus to cleaning a bus. Now it is annoying because I just got in the zone and I was really up for it, but if I don't do this properly, it's just going to affect the final result. So on we go. So there we go. I'm actually painting a bus in a color called London Red. Now to avoid having a crappy paint job like we did on the battery box lid, I have made a couple of changes. First of all, I've added a new water separator on my compressor. Secondly, I have been very, very precise with the amount of thinner I've added to the paint. And I have messed about with my paint gun and set it up correctly. And the result is superb. Yes, of course, I've got a slight issue with overspray because I had to stop to clean the bus, but that will be solved the next time I come past. Reload paint 
Gun. it one half painted in London red. Now I apologize because normally I would paint the entire bus and we'd have a nice conclusion to this video. But sadly my life is so busy at the moment that would take quite some time and there has been a lot of you whinging at me saying where's the next video of Peter's bus? Why is there no video? Why is there no update? So you've got your update. Whilst you guys all watch that I'm gonna crack on with the bus and also deal with all the stuff that is going on in my life and there is a lot of it. The events industry is back open so my first bus is going here, there and everywhere and I also have a special condition called having a young child. And my missus and I have realized that she has a superhuman power and that power is to take up our time and make it disappear. <laughs> so Fun stuff is happening with my first bus and I'll try and capture some of that on video so you guys can see what I'm actually up to. Uh, and apart from that, I hope to see you all again. Thank you very much for watching next time on Pete and his bus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>